Hey guys, we got exciting news. So DeepSeek uh, Arbo new version came out barely yesterday, although we got a lot more information today. And quality-wise, we can see that, well, it is a major improvement upon the old DeepSeek R1 and uh, old uh, QVM3 235B, but it's basically tying with Gemini 2.5 Pro and uh, OpenAI 03. Perhaps if you want to be nitpicky, you can uh, claim that it is slightly worse, but it is in the same tier nonetheless. But of course, extra special bonus here is that this model is free to use. So it has the MIT license, and if you have the hardware, you can run it yourself, although most likely you can't. Yet it does mean that others can, and uh, the cost is going to be basically really up to the competition and not... Uh, how much the particular company wants to gatekeep it. So, as you can see, it's uh, taking up a uh, number one place on Hugging Face, rivally so. And merely score-wise, if we check out artificial analysis, it is second place overall, only behind O4 Mini. So in this case, even beating uh, Gemi 2.5 Pro, but supposing using Humanity's last exam as uh, an example, then O3 Mini, I uh, know, O3, O04 Mini, uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and DeepSeek R1 would be the smartest models right now. And out of these four, clearly, DeepSeek R1 is the only one that is uh, open source and also pretty accessible. It is rather cheap. On another benchmark, we see DeepSeek R1. Fourth place overall, right? Only beaten by O3 and O4 Mini, right? It's even falling behind the new Gemini 2.5 Pro. And although I did not specifically cover the new Cloud 4, it is uh, not seem to be a relevant model. So again, we see the Cloud 4, the new model, at 72%. And according to their claims, even though it's not currently updated on Aether, it is scoring 72 points on Aether. So that means 72 would be on the level of Claude 4 Opus, perhaps, or a more notable example would be Gemini 2.5 Pro. This, is, this would be the older model, I suppose, so you can argue that the updated version is a little bit better. So it is a little bit falling behind these models for this particular use case. Yet, one aspect that you need to consider that out of these, I, I guess you can argue that maybe O4 Mini High would be the most affordable, but like realistically it would be like uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro. And DeepSeek would be scoring on the level of uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro while costing the same as the old version, which is over here. So 5.4. Now, this is all assuming that they are doing the same task. So effectively, it is seven times less expensive, give or take, for the same use case. Yet, that does not mean that a Gemini 2.5 Pro is uh, basically a deep sea car one that costs more money because these uh, AIs might not be trained on the exact same things. So your results may vary a little bit. At least I had the experience that I was trying to do a thing with one AI, then I tried it with the other AI, and it uh, worked much better. How about the newer models are going to be less and less uh, affected by this, because essentially they can just do whatever you want them to do. Now, if you actually want to use it for free, well, I guess you can just use their chat. So you can use the chat, but this is not really a, a special feature. Others offer the chat too, and I would say that DeepSeek has one of the best chats and uh, one of the best uh, research function. So I would highly recommend it. It is my second favorite, just to be entirely fair. I tend to prefer the Gemini chat because it just has so many things, but uh, DeepSeek would uh, easily get uh, my silver medal. But also if you just want to use it for free, although it's not that expensive, but if you want to use it for free for coding, for example, then you can use uh, the open router free version. So you can just uh, generate an API key and use this version 
And uh, I don't really have a crystal ball, but my experience with the previous R1 version, that you can just use it basically as much as you want. The main limiting factor would be that you have to wait for the thinking, <laughs> but, but you will have to wait for that anyway. So it is pretty much free. But if you look at the providers, these are the unofficial providers, but the other the official providers kind of offer the official provider kind of offers this rate too. But essentially, if anyone can uh, host this model for cheaper, then you can see that uh, reflected. Now, honestly, for most cases, this does not really matter. I guess in mo you would just use the the cheapest provider. But in some cases, you might consider it like, for example, if you want a higher throughput speed, then in niche scenarios that might matter but at the very least it's always a bonus if there are more than one provider which is not even an option with the proprietary models because it's just uh, take it or leave it and basically like all the time it just works but you also have no choice and all you would need to do to use the open router api key is inside like vs code for example is to download either a root code or a client and then simply add your key and select the free version. And I suppose you might have to switch to the paid version if you are getting rate limited, or you can just uh, directly pay for DeepSeek R1 from the provider, which is gonna be still very accessible. Again, you have to consider that the second most affordable model in the same tier would be Gemini 2.5 Pro. And it still would be seven times more expensive for effectively the same use case. Oh, but I would say that the uh, Gemini 2.5 series is worth considering, especially the Flash version. You can use it for free for 15 requests per minute if you get a key from uh, Gemini. And I know that this video is about the new R1, but it is a... Uh, a worthy consideration because if you need the thinking feature and you need the absolutely best answer then r1 would be the best choice but if you need something fast for grunt work then most likely in fact uh, let me put it even clearly uh, there there is nothing better than a gemi 2.5 uh, flash reasoning it is just so damn fast and also free too so lately that was my strategy that i just kept spamming uh, Gemini 2.5 uh, flash uh, thinking model and if I really got stuck then I maybe I used some uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro but with the release of the new DeepSeek R1 who knows maybe I'll use the free version of the new tier 1 model because it is clearly in the same tier as uh, 03 Gemini 2.5 Pro R1 and uh, 04 Mini and I have to say that it is very useful or very critical and i'm very happy about it that we have a uh, an open source model that's actually in the top tier oh but we had a contender qven free 235b before but this is also a great improvement even upon that which was still kind of on the level of gemini 2.5 flash and if you would want the best coder currently and assuming you're not going to use any free options which I think you should consider, I at least would be using R1 because there's really no reason to use anything else. But if you don't need the very best, then uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash is also a worthy option. So that is about it. The latest Cloud 4 uh, was a bit of a flop. And uh, the other models in the same tier, which uh, would be the top tier right now, either would need to be much cheaper or much better to be worth considering and also keep in mind that uh deep seek promised r2 to come out as well obviously much better but they would all promise that but also to be much cheaper essentially half the price of gemini 2.5 flash so i don't know what they're cooking i certainly would be not trusting the marketing but they might actually come up with a model that is going to get cheaper too which is not something i would necessarily expect from uh, other providers. So if we just look at the field, then we can see that OpenAI likes to price their things high to the point where it literally makes no sense to use it. Outside of the initial phases where you didn't have that much of a choice, I, I never used OpenAI. Their stuff is just possibly good, but it doesn't make much sense to use it. While Google 
at least lately, has some good models, but they're also getting kind of pricier, so they might need to adapt to the open source models. But out of the proprietary models, I would still nominate them as my favorite ones. And XAI is kind of striving to be relevant. It's kind of pointless right now. Why Claude was mainly initially relevant with their Claude 3.5 model that was better at coding than most others, but lately I I'm not so sure. But even their score aside, I'm sure that they would price themselves into irrelevance because outside of OpenAI, they clearly would be getting the at least the second place as the ones most out of touch being reality. So currently my ranking would go to Deep Sea Car 1 as the top consideration for intelligence if that is what you want and uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash if uh, you need more of a value proposition and most of all, fast token speed. Well, perhaps you might use a Llama Force Scout if you want something uh, dumb and cheap. So that's it, guys. Arvin is awesome. And let's see what OpenAI and uh, Google plays next. And can anyone else can catch them?